With the motor and the motor cradle assembly installed into the engine compartment of the Saturn station wagon, it's now a good time to do some preliminary testing of the Azure Dynamics um, AC controller and the uh, Azure Dynamics AC24 three-phase motor. Now the electric motor is coupled to the original five-speed manual transaxle using components very similar to what was used originally in this car with an internal combustion engine. These components consist of a high-performance aluminum flywheel and a brand new clutch and pressure plate. The motor controller and batteries have yet to be installed in the car. Currently they're on this rolling workbench that's been moved to the front of the car. The battery pack is 144 volts and it consists of 12 sealed lead-acid decadominator batteries. The batteries are wired together in series using 12 gauge wire instead of the 2 watt wiring that will ultimately be used in the final installation. There's a current shunt wired in series with the positive leg of the battery pack right before it enters the controller. And the current shunt is connected to an analog meter that will give me a reading of the amps going into and out of the battery pack. The auxiliary battery is a standard wet cell motorcycle 12 volt battery and it's going to be required for this test to get the controller to turn on and this same battery is also going to be used for the final installation in this vehicle. There's a laptop computer connected to the controller by way of this serial cable and the point of the laptop is so that I can monitor the uh, current state of the controller and the motor and I can also configure operating parameters inside the controller using this software. The uh, front of the car is on jack stands so the tires are not making contact with the floor of my shed. And initially for this test I have the transmission in neutral. This is what's called a pot box and there's a lever on the pot box that sends a command to the controller that tells the controller how fast the driver wants the wheels to be spinning. As the lever is pulled to the right, it tells the controller to make the wheels go faster. And the controller is spring-loaded so that it always returns to the stopped position. Ultimately, this lever will be connected to the gas pedal using the original uh, throttle cable. When the Azure controller is switched to the enabled mode, you can hear the main contactors inside the controller close as they go into the on position. Now the controller is ready to power the motor. It's perfectly silent, but it's ready to go. As the pot box lever is pulled to the right, the sound of the motor spinning can be heard. The wheels aren't spinning right now because the car is in neutral. The laptop indicates that we're reaching a speed close to 7,000 RPMs. The motor feels quite comfortable and vibration free even at this high rate of speed which is good because the flywheel and the clutch and pressure plate are also spinning at 7,000 RPMs. So it's encouraging to know that there's not a lot of vibration happening down here at the motor. Now I'll put the car into fourth gear. Again I'm going to move the lever on the pot box to the right and this time the wheels and tires are also going to come up to a spin. When the lever on the pot box is released, the wheels are allowed to spin freely and eventually come to rest. Now I will enable regenerative braking. Once the wheels have been brought up to speed, as I release pressure on the lever on the pot box, the wheels will quickly come to a stop as the power and momentum left in the wheels and tires is transferred back into the battery pack. Here's what the amp meter looks like as power is applied to the wheels and then as regenerative braking kicks in. As the controller draws power from the battery pack, the meter tips to the right. As the controller returns power from the wheels back to the battery pack, the meter tips to the left. That's regenerative braking. When the controller is turned back off, the main contactors inside the controller can be once again heard, this time as they're returning to the off position or the open position. The next step in this conversion 
is to put these batteries and this controller and this battery into that car.